Hey there, sign of Virgo. My name is Kim, and I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, being part of this channel. I appreciate all of you very much so. Um, we're going to start by calling in Divine White Light to surround us as we do the reading and surround you as you watch the reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. And we will start. So we're going to start with the archetype deck. Kim Kranz. We'll get one or two. It just kind of depends. And then we'll pull some more oracle cards. And we will clarify if we need to at the end with the tarot. Okay, for Virgo, please. Next 48 hours. 48 hours. I'm doing 48 hours so I can get the weeklies in on time. All right, let's get going. Virgo for the sign of Virgo. The threshold. You're standing on the threshold. A few ways you can look at the threshold. So let me start off um sometimes it's just part of the process of transition um the threshold may just be you know that that part where you're transitioning from out of one experience and into another on the same uh no it may be one experience into the other but the threshold may be pointing to something that you're doing or a habit or something like that that's holding you back from going forward. So it can be both of those things. The threshold can just be simply a stage or the threshold can be an actual thing that you need to pay attention to and change first. So it, it kind of just depends on your story of where that's gonna land. All right, we're gonna get something from the spell casting deck and see what it has to say for you. We're gonna put that over there, there. All right, for Virgo, 48 hours for Virgo, please. For Virgo. Ooh, <laughs> okay, we'll take it. We will take it. We got prosperity, yay. I like prosperity for you. That's good. Oh, okay. Finding animals. Finding animals. <laughs> Finding prosperity. Finding prosperity too. Um yeah, let me get let me get the book and um tell you what there's there's some like magical meanings that they ascribe to these things but we can clearly see that it means you're on the threshold of achieving this goal right here complete pr prosperity that's that's what that represents your coins and then finding is here and then animals perhaps it's really literal and somebody found an animal um but perhaps it's is talking about each individual thing I definitely think that this prosperity relates to the threshold. All right, it says to stop focusing on money because you'll be supplied with what you need. Be careful what you wish for. A lucrative deal is an offer and understanding the law of attraction to attract your prosperity. So, and it can mean like windfall, money, 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 money. Finding. It's just, that card is basically saying we don't want you to focus on the lack, the lack thereof. Because if you focus on the lack, then you're asking essentially for the universe to prove to you what you're already thinking, which is lack. So that's why we don't want to do that. We want to attract something that we deem as positive. So it would be our desires and our things in our heart. All right, with finding, I have seek and you shall find. Follow your soul's calling. You've suffered a deep loss. An unexpected gift arrives and you found your true path. Oh, that's a really deep card. I didn't know that was one of them. Finding your true path. 
And maybe you're at the threshold of all of this. Animals. Okay, this one, other than finding animals, can mean train as an animal healer and communicator, support and campaign for animal charities, a deceased animal companion is still very much with you, and an animal brings you healing. So, all really, really good cards. I like them. Um, let's see. We're going to do... I'm almost wanting to do... Let's do a small spread. I knew I was going to end up changing that. Let's do a small spread with the tarot because I don't really have to clarify too much, but I would like to find out more and see what the tarot has to say. All right, so for Virgo, let's find out the issue, the issue or the situation. Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is the person that's taking no BS. She's going after her goal and she's getting it. And since that's near the prosperity and finding, I think it's uh, her that probably found out the information because she finds the truth between things. And she stands behind the scenes, but she um, has her eye on the target and she usually gets it. And then Knight of Wands could be talking about a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, like a younger adult. Um... But the Knight of Wands is something, the challenge here, okay? So maybe the challenge is the speed or the rate that um, this is going, this finding. Maybe the speed is just either not up to par, like the Knight of Wands, not fast. Or it's might maybe too fast and have the ability to be careless then. Let's look at the past position. Ooh. All right, so past Future spirit advice. Past, yay, it's in the past. It's in the past. And then look, there's my prosperity card right above it. Right above it. Oh my goodness. And the Empress for the future. Oh, to breathe a sigh of relief because this is a card that's about your um, success. And it's about ventures that turn out to be more than successful, more than you thought was going to happen. Spirit advice, keep working at it. We know it's going to feel like you're close to burnout, but keep going, keep going, keep going. We have good things in store for you. That's what I feel like that all means. The Empress, of course, could be the future spot of welcoming another child into the family. Um, I think for most of us, this is about a new venture, either a different career, a new job, um, adding something, maybe adding something to your career. You know, they say that the side money, getting side money. All right, so let's get some tea leaves and we'll wrap up your reading, which I thought this was a really good reading. That's if you want to see Five of Pentacles, you want to see it in the past. That's what you want to see. The Five of Pentacles, though, by the way, just to add, it is a temporary situation card. So, it's not like, this is your life. Yay. <laughs> if you're feeling abandoned or something, things will get better. Things will eventually always balance out. So, we have Bo. You are highly thought of. And I think that's what the, um, probably the Queen of Swords and the Empress type feeling. Um, maybe the Queen of Swords right now because that's the present. We have April for a month. April for a month, if you're looking for a month. Cat, a two-faced friend. Not sure who that's about, Virgo. Bird flying, news is on the way. I think that has to do with your prosperity. And Apple, temptation will test you. Maybe it's to do something a little, well, no, that's probably that uh, Empress energy. That's probably, or the temptation to do something cap, uh, carelessly, haphazardlessly. Don't rush something. Don't rush something. Pineapple. Uh, reconciliation. Reconciliation. So, you know, you got a lot of people on the board. This could be um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be Capricorn in there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, sending much love and light out to you. Join me for your next re uh, reading. <laughs> Bye, Virgo.